Today's video is demonstrating how to incorporate poles into your daily flatwork training. Incorporating poles into your flatwork training adds some variety into your work, which helps to keep your horse fresh and attentive. When ridden correctly, the poles will help to increase the engagement of the horse's back end and can also help you with your accuracy in the arena, as you have to ride to and over each pole. For this exercise, I have set up a pole at each tangent point on the 20 metre circle between E and B. I start off at a walk just to ensure Trojan is aware that there are poles where there is normally just sand and to ensure he knows to step over them, not just scatter them. Once I'm happy he knows where the poles are, then I move up to trotting over the poles. I'm wanting him to step over each pole and not knock them with his hooves while he works in a round frame and stays on the 20 metre circle without drifting in or out. You will see that I spiral the circle in slightly and then leg yield him back out to start to increase the degree of difficulty of the exercise. You need to keep changing and adjusting your workouts or they will become monotonous and the horse will become dull and bored. I like to keep changing direction throughout the exercise and use those directional changes as part of the training by riding smaller half circles instead of just turning him across the circle or changing rein out of the circle. As Trojan warms up into the workout, I go from rising trot to sitting trot and start to ask for some more collection and add some smaller 10 meter circles, both within the circle and turning out from the circle. I'm looking for him to maintain his balance and engagement on the smaller circles in the sitting trot and keep the same rhythm and tempo as he did in the rising trot. Once I feel like Trojan is working well in the trot, listening to my aids and staying on the line I put him on, I then move him up into the canter and continue the exercise. Except now I add some trot transitions to increase the degree of difficulty. Trot to canter and canter to trot transitions ridden correctly help to increase the engagement of the back end, which in turn improves the quality of the paces. Throughout the exercise, I'm wanting to maintain that even rhythm and tempo and have Trojan working in a round, connected frame to get the full benefit of utilising the trot poles and canter poles.
we finish off our ride, I like to let Trojan stretch down into a deeper, stretchier frame in a rising trot to stretch all his top line muscles and let his body relax. This is also asked for on a novice test, so it's good to practice this at home. Thank you for watching our video and please subscribe to our channel KPH Horse Training Tips for more training tips.